Okay, it's a beautiful day in the south of Ireland, uh, unlike that day. And uh, today we're going to talk about uh, Blender and the uh, PVR Geopod uh, exporter. So if you haven't got Blender already, uh, go and get it. It's one of the, uh, the best things in life that are free. It's on the uh, blender.org uh, website. You uh, 2.7 is the latest version. It only came down. It only came out last week, and I get the one that's the 64-bit uh, for Mac. When it downloads, it goes to your download folder, and you have uh, a download folder. Hurry, and it's this file here. And what I do is I copy it into my applications folder. And I copy it in, I rename it, uh, whatever the version is, 2.7, to keep it distinct from previous versions. And uh, I run it from there. Uh, when you open up Blender, you get the famous screen. I'm not going to teach how to use Blender, because there's thousands of uh, tutorials uh, out on the web and YouTube and everywhere to show you what to do. But uh, what we need to do is get it to have the ability to export uh, what are called PVR geopods. Uh, you can do it using Collada. There's some information about uh, that on the, uh, the forum. But uh, the best way to do it is using the geopods. So we're going to get that now. And uh, where you need to go is back onto the web and go to this place, image uh, img tech.com imagination technology it's called you go to developers power vr insider and sdk you want to go to the download area for that and uh, you get to this point here you want to download it for mac in my case or in your case too i'd imagine uh, i've got an account so i can log in uh, if you haven't got an account you register it's for free they ask you a few questions it's nothing uh, too serious and uh, then it'll once you uh, go into your uh, given the, your details you can download the uh, the latest SDK that comes into your download file and uh, I've probably got a few versions of this in my download folder now because I've been uh, working with it the last few days the first one that came in would have been this guy and when you double click on it it opens up to this guy, the setup folder for 3.3. .3. You run that, give it your password because it's uh, setting up an application. And when it loads, is it loading? It is. <coughs> you get the setup uh, program. You uh, say yes, you don't read anything. And then <coughs> you have options here. You can download the whole thing because it's all clicked. There is some interesting stuff in the SDK, but if you're uh, particularly only interested in getting the stuff that'll work for what you need to do to work with Cocos 3D, probably just uh, click the utilities and download that. Press next, it'll show you where it's going to send it, and if you press next again, it will start uh, downloading it. Now, I've already done that, so I'm going to abort there. And where it goes to is into your applications folder under Imagination, Power VR, Graphics SDK. What we're looking for is this guy, Power uh, PVR Geopod. Look in Plugins. Uh, you can see that there's options for Maya and uh, 3DS Max. I use Blender. It's uh, OS X86 for me, and these are the files I want. Now, where I want to put those files is I'm going to open another Finder window into applications blender 2.7 and on the application folder itself i'm going to go right click show package contents in contents go to mac os 2.7 and scripts and it's add-ons is the file i'm looking for if you look at add-ons there's a lot of python files that uh, work various things inside in blender that can be handy but all we want to do is go up here copy these guys uh, copy four items and back down now into the add-ons folder and paste the four items drink they're gone in 
So now when I open Blender again, I can close all this down. There's Blender. In fact, I should open it and quit it just to get it to reset and reread the uh, the application. Blender 2.7. Open it again. And now before you do anything, you just need to go to uh, User Preferences. Uh, you've got Interface Editing, Input, Add-ons. Go to Add-ons, uh, Import, Export and scroll on down and uh, because I was already setting this up yesterday it's, al it's obviously found it again this may not be ticked for you so just make sure that uh, you get to the import export PVR Geopod and tick it and see that it goes active there like that okay so now you come out of that go back into 3D view or whatever and when you Go to File and Export. You should have available to you uh, PVR Geopod Export Script. Okay, in the next uh, video, we'll uh, actually do an, uh, our first export and uh, bring that into a Cocos 3D project. Okay, good luck.